Gestational diabetes, high blood sugar levels that develop when you're pregnant, is one of the most common complications of pregnancy. It's associated with abnormal fetal growth, infant mortality, preeclampsia, which can put the mom's health at risk, and various major birth defects. Is there anything we can do to prevent it? Well, the Harvard Nurses Health Study found that eating meat before pregnancy appeared to increase subsequent diabetes risk during pregnancy. They suggest that the carcinogenic nitrosamines in bacon and other processed meats may be toxic to insulin-producing cells. This may be why ham and other lunch meats may play a role in initiating type 1 diabetes. But increased risk was also found for non-processed meat, too. So instead, it may be the glycotoxins, the advanced glycation end products formed in meat, causing inflammation, which has been tied to gestational diabetes. More recently, though, attention has turned to the blood-based heme iron in animal products. Higher pre-pregnancy intake of dietary heme iron is associated with an increased gestational diabetes risk. Now, we've known that the intake of heme iron from animal products was associated with increased risk of type 2 diabetes in women, but we didn't know about the gestational diabetes until recently. Now, for type 2 diabetes, only animal-based iron was associated with diabetes risk. The more plant-based or non-heme iron was not. This is thought to be because our bodies can't regulate the absorption of the blood-based iron as well, and so chronically high intakes can lead to too much in the body. Uh, the same thing was found for gestational diabetes. Blood-based iron was associated with as much as triple the increased risk, but if anything, there was a trend towards the non-heme or plant-based iron being protective against diabetes. Either way, this explains why pregnant women who eat vegetarian appear to be at significantly lower risk of developing diabetes. But this study was in India, where vegetarians tend to avoid eggs as well. A more recent Harvard study found that higher pre-pregnancy intakes of animal fat and cholesterol was associated with elevated gestational diabetes risk. Substituting in 5% animal fat for 5% carbs was associated with a 13% increased risk of gestational diabetes. But if it's not just the animal fat, but the cholesterol too, then one would expect eggs to increase one's risk of diabetes during pregnancy as well, but it had never been directly studied until now the risk of gestational diabetes in relation to maternal egg intake. Apparently, the more eggs women ate before getting pregnant and during early pregnancy, the higher their risk of developing diabetes during their pregnancies. And these findings are consistent with other studies documenting associations with cholesterol intake and the development of regular type 2 diabetes in men and non-pregnant women. In fact, women who develop gestational diabetes are like seven times more likely to go on to develop type 2 diabetes later in life. So pregnancy is viewed as a teachable moment. Pregnant women are often highly motivated to make healthy lifestyle changes for both their own health and that of their offspring. Thus, pregnancy may be a critical opportunity for both short- and long-term behavioral modification, representing a window of opportunity for healthcare providers to change lifestyle patterns towards the acquisition of healthier habits.